Shouldn't it be D-commerce for digital? E-commerce, or electronic commerce, is the buying and selling of goods and services over an electronic network, like the internet. Sites like eBay and Amazon revolutionized e-commerce in the 1990s. By 2000, e-commerce accounted for 1% of retail sales, and by 2019, reached almost 11% of all retail, according to the Commerce Department. Keeping in mind that retail also accounts for traditionally in-person sales, like automobiles, restaurants, gas, and groceries. B2C, or business to consumer, is the retail part of e-commerce on the internet. All kinds of consumer goods are available online, like clothes, subscription services, household items, and electronics, sold directly from a business to a customer. B2B e-commerce, or business to business, refers to the electronic exchange of products, services, or information between businesses, like online directories and product supply exchange websites. The B2B e-commerce market is nearly six times the size of the B2C market. Sometimes, hundreds of B2B transactions must happen for a single B2C sale. Other types of e-commerce include consumer-to-consumer, consumer-to-business, business-to-administration, and consumer-to-administration. The rise of e-commerce has forced IT to move beyond infrastructure design and maintenance to consider customer-facing aspects, like consumer data privacy and security including data governance-related mandates, personally identifiable information privacy rules, and information protection protocols. As of 2019, online sales is the fourth largest sector of retail sales. Motor vehicles is the largest sector, followed by food and beverage stores, and then restaurants and bars. But there's a growing trend of buying vehicles online, and dealers are beginning to invest in e-commerce to satisfy the customer demand. What are some of your business's biggest benefits or risks associated with e-commerce practices? Let us know in the comments and hit that like button.